All right, guys, it's been more than 24 hours, 48 hours that we are in this campground, and we are ready to go. <laughs> ready to go, Kitty? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to move. Flooding not long time ago here on that road, you can tell all the driftwood. I drove here not long time ago and it's full of surfers usually here, but not this morning. I guess the wave are not strong enough right now. Beautiful little place. So I heard a lot of people telling me that I need to go to that beach which I'm gonna put the um, the name on the screen because I, I don't remember and I just passed the sign. That's me. Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna bring Kenny with me because I'm going to the ocean and the waves scare her. Uh, so I'm just gonna go by myself and um, yeah see how beautiful it is. That's a bridge. I'm not a huge fan of those pictures. <laughs> Walking slowly. At least it's not too, too, too tall. <laughs> All right, we're good, we're good. Okay, the trail is not in the best shape. It's really muddy. I'm supposed to pass on here. <laughs> this is a big tree. Yes. 
some people uh, surfing or attempting. snacks when they go surfing. Might be idea. My friend told me to come at low tide. I guess you can walk like pretty far at low tide, but I didn't know I didn't have a, I don't have any internet connection in this area, so it's all good. It's beautiful though. Make me uh, look at the guys who's doing uh, surfing. Make me want to go get a surf and just go, but I probably would be scared. <laughs> Those are pretty good size wave, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, maybe one day I'm gonna try. in Port, port Renfrew. <laughs> so many port names sometimes I have a hard time to remember which one we are. Port Renfrew and there's no internet connection. Where's my phone? I left in the back. There's no, uh, there's no cell reception but there's uh, internet connection here at the library so I'm in front of the library. I just scroll and I did all my little stuff after two days without internet, without see the world what's going on I just like uh, slowly like just go back and try to uh, catch everything a little bit and my friend Joseph might be in this area too as well he told me that he might have come uh, but again I have no cell reception I have no idea what's going on so I have an idea where he could be if he's here so we're gonna go check that campground which is just down the road I think and see if he's there So the 
campground that I thought it would be would be this one, but they are closed. A First Nation uh, campground, if you want, and with COVID and everything, they closed down this portion. So I have no idea where where it might be, but keep going. guys I just arrived to a small little town uh, I'm not sure the name of the town but it's around the lake and uh, I just did this mini tour um, just to see where I'm gonna sleep tonight because when it's so such small town sometimes it gets hard to find place to sleep I like to sleep in front of apartment building not in front of an actual house so I found a couple of places, so we are good. And with the snow, I was a little bit worried, but I think we should be good tonight. Um, it's still quite early, but I know like in one hour or so, it's gonna get dark. So I just wanted to have a feel of a couple of little places that I could sleep tonight. And I'm a little bit disappointed that I was not able to get any like place to camp along the road that we just did. That was my plan. Uh, but a lot of places were closed with the gate in front of it and some places also had a lot of snow so I'm kind of happy that we left that road it was so like narrow some place and I was like oh my god like a little bit worried at one, at one point uh, that people will come like really fast and you know uh, but um, yeah I'm glad that we left the place especially like just look online and there's like a fog um, warning or something like this for tomorrow so great that we laugh and it's already really foggy right now just around the lake so glad that we laughed over though I wish we had a little campground over there but yeah it's all good we're gonna sleep in town here and I'm hungry <laughs> I didn't really ate that much today so we're gonna make something I have no idea what we're gonna make figure out something I'm gonna figure out something kitty <laughs> all right this is what I'm gonna have so potatoes I put some buckwheat here uh, didn't have that many but yeah um, and vegetable stock curry powder put the lid on and I'm gonna put a little bit of broccoli that I have some left and I have some uh, a little bit bad looking I'm gonna look what I can can get uh, sprinkle on this at the end yeah should be alright so there you go super simple dinner so there's some buckwheat here um, yeah potatoes broccoli yeah. just left over of the fridge <laughs> pretty much so I'm gonna eat that, relax here for a little bit, and yeah, find a place to sleep tonight in this little town. We'll do, we'll do for tonight for sure. 
All right, so I think we're gonna go find a little place to go to bed. <laughs> She's always ready to go to bed. <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Say something, Kitty? No? You don't wanna say anything? <laughs>